Hi guys, Lenny Turner here, back today with another guitar tutorial for you guys. Um, I'm not sure if you saw, but two weeks ago I went to see Black Veil Brides. I think if any of you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen the picture of Andy Bersack himself, which I'm quite proud of, not going to lie. Um, and what was really cool was that when I saw them, he actually threw a, a water bottle into the audience that he previously drank from, and I managed to catch that one, so it's a good souvenir. Uh, sorry it's been a while guys, but I have been really really busy with being 17 and everything, so I won't get into that. And uh, I will however get into the song that I'm going to be teaching you, as you would have seen in the title below, is their new song, Heart of Fire, which I'm sure you have all listened to religiously for the past two and a half weeks. And uh, without further ado, let's get into it. Just a quick message guys, it is in drop C, so if you're not in drop C, get down to that now. I'll just play you all the notes in drop C right now. Okay, that's drop C. Uh, I do apologise in advance for the poor audio. Um, the camera's not the best and um, this room's quite awkward to uh, film in. It's actually my brother's room, but anyway, this is the intro that I will be teaching you today. So, let's do it. Firstly, uh, basically, it only uses this bottom string. Okay, and what you're going to do, you're going to play it open. Okay, and then you are going to um, play the second fret three times. Just like that. Okay, after that you're going to use your pinky to stretch the fifth fret. After that, you're going to play the second fret again. Then open. Then the fourth fret. So, all together slowly. Okay. And then fifth. And then you're going to hammer on to play it open. So, you're going to sort of play the 5th fret and then hammer off to just play it open like this. Can you hear that? I'm not clicking them like this. It's like really quick hammer on and pull off there. Is that all together so far? Okay, so after you've done that, you then do the same thing but with the 7th fret, like this. So. slowly everything we've learned so far. Okay, I'm going to play at full speed now, playing on you can. And basically guys, I've just pretty much taught you the whole riff then, because this is only going to be a quick video on the intro. Um, I'll upload part two if you guys want later, but basically that is it. So what you do, you play that four times, uh, I won't do it now just for time, but basically you play that four times and then you get another four times but it's uh, power chords if you like so instead of just playing the note you bar it like this so you're playing all the notes so like this Do you hear the difference? This is what we played before and this is what it sounds like with it being barred So basically guys, you play it four times with it just on the low string, if you like, and then four times with it barred, like I did in the beginning. So slowly guys, I'm going to play 
the solo string four times and then it barred four times and sorry if you're a bit confused uh, by the term barred basically instead of just playing that string there you're playing these two as well so you're playing all, f all the front three strings on the same frets pretty easy you've just got to have some good finger strength to bar them so I'm going to play it slowly and then it gets into the verse. Just one note about uh, those last four times when he bar it with the, um, cause you know how before you did the hammer on like this. Obviously you can't really hammer on, hammer off three strings like, it doesn't really sound as good. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna play the fifth fret and then you're gonna palm mute the first three strings like, do you hear that? So you're gonna play palm mute, seventh fret, palm mute, fifth fret, palm mute. So like that, okay? And that is basically it guys. Hopefully you've uh, benefited from this. If you're not clearing anything, please rewind rewind rather. Not rewind, because that's not a word. Um if you'd like part two of this video, please uh, like this video and comment requesting part two uh, because I can easily learn it. And thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.